Right now I'm piloting a $12 submarine. And then the thing I just crashed into, that's a giant submarine you can actually get for just a couple hundred dollars more. All right, let's do it. This is no normal submarine. This thing served in World War II and sunk a lot of Japanese ships. It was the pinnacle of warfare for its time and is valued today at over $43 million. And for some outrageous reason, they give you the entire thing to yourself for $500. A national treasure, an antique, an unreplaceable relic for 500 bucks. Big shout out to our sponsor, World of Warship, for making this video possible. I believe something's going on here. My friends and I are gonna find out what it is. This is straight out of the war, dude. How much does this thing cost, Ty? This feels like a, an ungodly amount of money you spent on this thing. I literally only spent $500 for the entire submarine. That is unbelievable. Although this seems like an unbelievable deal, there are some reviews online explaining why it might be so cheap. My kid hit his head so hard. This place is an accident waiting to happen. Super dangerous. I didn't get a wink of sleep being that the bed was next to a torpedo. Not to mention I was freezing cold. I'm not coming back. At first I thought I heard footsteps. Then I heard loud bangs throughout the night. I think the rumors are true. The submarine is haunted. All right, so basically what these reviews are claiming is that this place is dangerous, Quilly, are you okay? uncomfortable, and potentially haunted. Naturally, you might want to avoid this place after hearing that. But by the end of this video, we're going to know whether these reviews are honest. How do I use this thing? That's insanity. Whoa, bro, this is so sick. This so dumb. I mean, one of the obvious reasons why this place is so cheap off the bat is I cannot feel my fingers. It is 10 degrees outside. Before we went and explored the inside of the submarine where we'd spend the night, I wanted to cast a line to see if we can catch a fish. That was the worst cast of probably all f time. You're not a very skilled fisher. I mean, did you see my island video, bro? But no, I think I got a fish! I got a fish! Let's f***ing go! Oh, wow, you caught a fish out of the ocean. The largest body of water known to mankind. <laughs> I've never felt so guilty about anything in my life. The sun started to go down and so did the temperature. Just a couple boys in their submarine. So we decided to go inside. How do we get inside this boy? There's a giant door right here. Open it, open it. You have no idea how bad I want to do that. Dude, I'm so cold. <laughs> What? Dude, this, this is, is insanity. I just came in here yesterday with a good old buddy Jeff. You came in here? Yeah. I no, we can't. This is Jeff, and yesterday he walked me through the submarine to make sure that we wouldn't press any buttons we weren't supposed to. Because apparently most of the ship is still completely functional. Really the only thing that I would say is, yeah, just all the, like, the dials, levers, knobs, switches, I keep them where they are. Our entire goal today is to find out, like, why this is, like, why is this 500 bucks, you know? I'm starting to realize what kind of video this is right now. <laughs> I started by showing Mac and Willie around. There's nine different steps to use the toilet. Pull lever A, release lever A, open valve C. I never thought about how complicated it would be to take a dump on a submarine. This place had a lot more to offer than a complicated toilet. Yo! A slot machine? You don't, you don't pull red levers. No, 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 no. I just want to... Uh, you know what I mean? Just like that. Most of the first hour on the ship was spent stopping Mac from pulling levers. Outside of pulling levers, this place was five star for safety. Ah! <laughs> bitch, bro. Ah! What just happened? Ah! <laughs> your knee. You okay? I don't know. Let's see the damage. Mac, I'm not gonna lie. They look like a very little boo boo. Nah, that's 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 lethal, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe a four star. Oh, f Willie, are you okay? Willie, are you okay? Yeah, okay, fine. It's probably like a two and a half star for safety. But that's not the only rumor online. It might be haunted. This is actually where they brought Ralph Clark Huston Jr.'s wounded body. Uh, they placed him right onto the table here. That's actually where he passed away, right on that table. I'm not sitting here anymore, dude. That's so sucks. The reason they were so quick to get up is because 78 years ago, Ralph died upon this table. He was a soldier on this submarine and is the only known casualty aboard. And many say his spirit never left the submarine. I'm not trying to go through Please. this. Get close. I'm getting as close as I'm comfortable getting. You promised me you didn't know that homeboy died here. No, no. The fact that I'm just like getting close to you on his deathbed is not vibing well with me. I would prefer to respect our boy. Yeah. Because if we're going to be spending the night on this shit, bro, after the aircraft carrier, I do not want to upset anything here. I do not believe in ghosts whatsoever. I do. I just have to bring it up. That is one of the reasons why this place might be Discount. Before verifying whether or not this place is haunted, we wanted to explore the rest of the ship. Yeah. Look, look how many beds we get. Come over here, come over oh, here. You got lots of beds. More beds. Honestly, like the mattress quality is unmatched, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we find out how many beds are in here. Yeah, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm already f***ing wet. <laughs> what the f***? Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> 
It feels like I'm sleeping next to Mac. He's <laughs> like sleeping next to like a bowling ball. Wait, what? <laughs> that was a full workout climbing into all 64 beds. We were walking around the ship and came face to face with torpedo tubes. These things used to be hand loaded with missiles that would track through the water and blow ships up. It would be irresponsible to crawl inside of one. How on earth could we resist? Oh my God, Willie, you're in there. All right, bye, Willie. Bye, guys. Right, let's get the out of here. <laughs> hey guys, you got slime on. <laughs> slime. I'm so oh, oh my god, dude, I'm covered in slime. That's why. But like, I'm, I'm more upset that I'm covered in slime. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got slime. I got slime. Done. Get slime. Oh, slime. Yeah, they yeah. slime. Guys, do you buy a shirt that says hashtag get slimed on it, or in my dog? Both are right answers. Now it's no secret that if this thing were to go under water, we would just instantly die. But I do have something to show you exactly what it would look like if we did go under water. And that's thanks to World of Warships. See, in World of Warships, there is this exact submarine. I'm gonna literally compare both of them right now in this drone shot. It is the exact submarine, and you get to go underwater in that one, thankfully. You can play with all your friends online. Literally, all you guys can gang up with your ships and submarines and play together. There's 500 historical ships to choose from, one of them being the submarine we're on right now. And guys, to support the channel, all you need to do is download this free, awesome to play game. It's actually so fun. And on top of that, we're gonna give you $27 worth of in-game credit. Yes, I'm literally paying you to play this game. The game is free on mobile, console, and PC, but if you want a free $27 in value, sign up on PC. Using the link in my description, we'll give you 500 of their premium currency to blooms, seven days of premium membership. We'll get two million in-game credits you can use on ships and ship upgrades. After 10 battles, you get a tier four ship. And on top of that, you get an included six point commander. To translate that all for you guys, you get a giant head start on this game. I love you guys. Please support the channel. It is a free way to support the channel. And we're gonna give you $27 in value. Anyway, let's go get some pizza. Yeah, for sure. Let's go, hey, stop. I think that's our pizza. Hopefully yeah. it's our pizza, not Ralph. I should know if that's Ralph. I'm running. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, got our pizza. Yes, sir. You take care out here. Yeah, you as well. Hey, Ralph, do you want any? We're gonna leave this out for you, okay? Imagine it's like all gone. Oh my God. We've been pushing it off all night, but it was time to hunt some All right, boys. In front of me is everything we're gonna need to be able to tell whether or not the submarine's haunted. These are just regular mag light flashlights. If a spirit wants to communicate with us, it can turn this flashlight on and off. This is just a motion detected light. You got a little antenna here? If you get near the antenna, make some noise. That would be bad. That would be so terrible. That, that would be bad. I would dip. You would dip for sure? I would dip. 10,000%. Last but not least, this is a thermal gun. If there's any kind of heat or cool patterns that look like a human being, off the boat. <laughs> Stacked. That's what Mac looks like in thermal, if you guys were wondering. All right, so as long as it's not proved haunted, this is a really good deal. Yeah. You have to be really open. That's the only rule. All right, I have all right. Stuff in my face. You open? Tyler Blanchard, I'm open to the possibility that it's possible, that possibly something happens. Possibly. I will say, I do have a little bit of a secret weapon. I feel like this is the time to introduce. On the aircraft carrier, I was wearing this shirt. I just thought it'd be good for the content. All right, so oh. you guys should know, <laughs> this guy's batch crazy. <laughs> I know you keep hearing us reference this aircraft carrier video. It's a video that inspired this one where we had the most haunted experience of our entire life. And to be and honest, we haven't there. been the same since. That's, That's aircraft it, it, it carrier. It smells like the aircraft carrier. That is aircraft carrier smell. Ty, well, we set these boys up. Yeah, for sure. It was time to set up the ghost gear and see if the claims are true. We'll meet you over in that room there, if you'd like. We went aboard the USS Hornet last time. I don't know if you know what that was. I think it was around when you were active duty. Uh, can you turn the flashlight off if you know what the USS Hornet is? Okay. I don't know if that was a coincidence or not. That could have just been a coincidence. Does any of the equipment make you feel uncomfortable? Turn on the flashlight if it doesn't make you uncomfortable at all. Uh, glad to hear that. I feel like there's a chance that that could be a chance. You can set up in the mess hall, turn off the lights, and... That's it. Okay, that's weird. That was the first time that went off. That uh, is the first time that went off? Oh, um, yeah. Okay. All right. We're getting a lot of action right now. There was some weird stuff going on, but we weren't convinced. Sorry, these lights are making me uncomfortable. I'm not at all. That's not us. It's the REM pod. If there's anyone here, can you interact with the stuff again? I'm sorry to keep asking you to do stuff. What is that? Do you want us to stay here? It was safe to say we were on edge. Oh, dude, that gave me the... Freaking chills, bro. <laughs> Since Willie's an absolute freak, he wanted to be completely alone to see if he can get anything by himself. So we locked him up. I'm gonna turn off all the lights 
and you're gonna see if this place is haunted once and for all. They uh locked me in. I mean, kind of a pretty eerie room. Willie always likes to take things a little too far. Man is uh, deck under us right now, uh, trying to negotiate with spirits. Is anyone here with me right now? A couple things did go off that threw me off a little bit. Yeah, big time. Big time, but uh, not nothing. Like it's not as bad as the the aircraft carrier. That's in legit. Dude. That was like mega haunted. Not gonna lie. Hello. Fuck me. Where the. Fuck? If you guys enjoy the videos, we make all sorts of really fun stuff. We mean the world to us. If you guys subscribed, we're about to hit a million subscribers, dude. We're at 910,000 subscribers. 90,000 more subscribers. I think we can hit it by the end of next month. That's a pretty bold claim. I'm gonna go grab Willie. I'm gonna make sure he's not getting his soul eaten by a spear. Willie! Really? How was it? Huh? And after freaking ourselves out for the last couple hours, it was time to hit the hay. I wanted to see if sleeping on a submarine could actually be comfortable. We're setting up bunk right now near the torpedoes. It's the warmest spot in the ship. I got outvoted and I'm gonna sleep here. If we don't get swallowed by a demon tonight, maybe this place is worth 500 bucks. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's definitely depending on whether or not it gets to look like these. Alright, boys. Hey, man. Thanks for bringing me out here. Yeah, this is, this is unbelievable, honestly. And after some good old-fashioned sleep, it was time to give our review. Sure, this place might be f***ing haunted. Sure, it might be 5 degrees outside. Sure, it might be, you know, really tight, compact, it might hit your head a lot. Sure, the match just feels like you're sleeping on a beans. It's actually good. Definitely accurate description. But you get a whole $45 million submarine. My ship. I think it's worth 500 bucks. Fairly priced. Hey, watch this video. Come on. Unless you're busy, then, uh, you know, you get, you watch it later.